here's another friction experiment we've got um, a wooden block on this slope and um, what I'm going to do is to keep adding masses down here until we can get this block to move. It's often good just to tap the plane a little bit to see if um, if that makes helps the block to move. I'm going to go with one more one more mass. Here we go. Keeping it in the same place on the on the plane because the friction can actually vary along the plane. Now that is what we would describe as being on the point of sliding. So we can actually use that to now make an estimate of the coefficient of friction. Using F equals mu r, the, um, the mass, the total mass of the slider is 360 grams. So we can say that r will be 9.8 times 0.36 and if we assume that when it's on the point of sliding the tension in this string is equal to the friction and that the tension at the other end of the string is equal to the weight here we can say that F is 9.8 times and the total mass here is 70 grams 0.07 so 9.8 times 0.07 equals mu times 9.8 times 0.36 and hence mu equals 0.07 over 0.36 which gives us a value of 0.19. Now think back to the angle of friction and we can predict the angle that this slope would be at when the block is on the point of sliding. So to do that we can find the angle, let's call it theta, that will be the inverse tan of 0.19 which comes out at 11 degrees. We need to set the slope at an angle of 11 degrees using our protractor. Which will be about there. Right, if we place the block onto the slope, it seems to want to remain at rest, but if we tap the slope a little tiny bit, you can see that the block is actually more or less on the point of sliding. 